Mark, have you come down from this cloud yet? This is wonderful. So, no, I'm living the dream. This is an amazing time. Uh, it's something that, that you the dream as as a coach. I know our, our guys, you dream of as a kid of seeing your name called on that screen. It came quick for us. The first know, one out the gate, yeah. uh, there wasn't a lot of uh, anxiety built up. But what a, what a great day for our university, for our city, for everybody involved. And I'm just so happy for our guys to watch their faces and see those moments. Those are the things that I'm tucking away in my heart uh, to keep for a long time. Uh, just seeing the reactions of, of their hard work paid off. Well, when you hired on in 11, 2011, did you truly envision this day? Did it come longer than you anticipated? Did it come sooner? Well, Has it met your expectations? No, I mean, I, I would have loved this three years ago. I yeah. Mean, yeah, I mean, you're competitive. You wanna, uh, you wanna win. And we, I, you know, we had to, we had some things where I thought a year or two ago we had some pieces in play and had some injuries here or there uh, that hurt us, that kept us from it. But I mean, I'm not gonna overlook this thing. I'm glad it's here. Glad that it's happened, and we'll run with it. Mark, for those that don't know much about you and basketball, what can our country basketball fans see when they come to privateer. Well, they're going to see a really hard-working blue-collar team that plays really, really tough man-to-man -to -man defense, uh, which I think when you go back to the, our history of who we are, from Ron Green to Benny D to Tim Boy, that's who we are. We're going to be a tough physical team. We're going to rebound it at a high rate, and then we share the ball really, really well. Uh, it's the mark of our team of giving up good shots and great shots all year, and it's been amazing. Well, you've been to the NC2As twice with Northwestern. What have you learned from that experience working with Pat for a long time? The, the, the great advantage I feel for me is I've been in the playing game before in 01. Uh, we beat Winthrop and then played Illinois, the Oklahoma number one seed. It's the same scenario that we would be in uh, on, on this week. So I, each time you go, you get a little bit more experience, and you can't buy that, you can't capture it. I think it'll help me a lot in our pace of the week and what we're going to do in our preparations and how we'll approach it. Some things that you may have thought were important that weren't, some things that you overlooked that we'll really emphasize this time to give us the best advantage we can to win and to make sure that our guys have a, have a once in a lifetime experience. Winning the conference tournament after winning the regular season kind of validates everything done. It does. It's a huge, it's a huge validation for our program that it won't just catapult us this week, but it's going to catapult us for years and years to come in recruiting, uh, in the city, uh, in fundraising. There's a lot of things that are going to going to make a big difference. Being a Hoosier, do uh, you remember the movie Hoosiers? Remember when Gene Hackman took his team into Butler Fieldhouse and they measured the, the, the distance from the goal down to the floor and the whole nine yards? Is there any of that going on here? You've been there, but yeah. these kids have been. No, they're going to be excited for the moment. The, the one thing about this group is uh, this whole week of this tournament, they've been loose. They've been enjoying the moment. They haven't been wound up. And I'd expect them to be nothing different. Uh, nothing different this time. It'll be the same thing. Mark Schlesinger, thanks so much for your time. Good luck, my friend. And you are carrying the banner of New Orleans here. Uh, very proudly. Very proudly. Thank you.